Hello and welcome back. It's GP qualifying time. Yes, it's that time again. It feels like yesterday, but it's back and time to qualify for the weekend. Now, if you haven't seen already, do make sure you pop into the Discord server in the description below. So many of you are letting me know you're scoring more points than ever, which is absolutely great. We help everyone out, so make sure you get in there. So, what do we have today in store? So, we've got the it's not even here. We've not even got the message, which is annoying. But we've got the Thanksgiving event. So the Thanksgiving event is here. And we've got George Russell, which is boosted. We've got Claw. And we've got the Menace, I think we've got. And we're going to just use the Claw. And we're just going to use George Russell as well. So here's what we're running for qualifying. We're running Russell and Verstappen. And we're also, this is the team score and crew parts that we were in so without further ado let's get in to some qualifying as we enter gp and i'm quite sad that the actual uh, tracks are there because they were there so they're not showing at the minute but we've got this we've got race one on the way and hopefully we can score some pretty good points so here we go race one and it is baku the first race of Baku then, race number one out of four. And let's see where we qualify. Do make sure to check out my free-to-play videos as well. Just completed our first GP, so give that a watch. Makes it interesting using no boost and some low parts. Definitely worth a watch for you guys as well. So, where are we going to be qualifying this weekend? Looks like P6 and P2. And if you know me already you know what I like to do when I start P2, and that is hold up the field with my first driver. So that's what we're going to hope for. We're going to be trying to hold up the field. Russell should get a good start from P2 anyway. And here we go. So we're straight into the lead, straight down to a cut down. And what about Max? Max is already into P2. Absolutely perfect. Hopefully that is game over in the first five seconds so should we move on to video two no because you never know what can happen in formula one and also f1 clash you might have a safety car you just don't know could come at the wrong time could come at the right time and what we're going to do then is we're going to let max verstappen slowly move his way out front and we're going to try and hold up george russell for as long as we can we're going to boost now just around this major overtaking part and we're going to try and back the field up to absolutely cement us. So if Max Verstappen didn't get P2 off the first corner, we would have been holding him up and trying to get him through on the straights by holding the field up. So we're going to keep boosting and it looks like we might lose that position. We are. So I'm going to boost again and try and get back past him. George is on the soft tyres. So can we get back past here? Not quite. Now, Cameron Russell with DRS open, he wishes get back past down the straight. He's going to take a big lunge up the inside. Can we get it? Can we get it? We can. P2 for George, and we're going to start to hold up again. We don't really need to, but we are going to just keep holding him up. Every little second, every millisecond absolutely counts. Because Max Verstappen will be coming in this lap, and we're not going to go for servicing. So all this holding up is just helping us a little bit more. And then what we'll do is we'll be boosting round on the next lap. So Russell looks like he's going to get us. That's fine. We've got the Mercedes on medium behind. And we're now going to boost for this whole lap. And we'll come back into the pits. As Max Verstappen coming out, can he get ahead of the rival? No. And we're going to have Max Verstappen needing to get ahead of George Russell. So we need, could, clear, could clear him ASAP now. And here we have. So P2 for Max. And Max should be able to absolutely create some big distance between the field. And George Russell, who was behind us, is on the hard tyre. So this is absolutely massive amount of time that we're going to be hitting now. As George is into the pits, he's done a superb job. And Max Verstappen goes round to start lap five. What about Russell? Where will he come? Russell will come out. And what I'm going to do is just conserve now. And just to run you through the boosts then. Rooster, whilst it's not the go-to boost for this track. 
it is a very good blocking boost and it's a very good tire boost so if i want to hold the field up it's a perfect boost to use because if i can't hold the field up i can go really long so it has its benefits and it's actually a very underrated boost dead fast full of speed bit of tire management and fuel so especially with this straight i can absolutely keep pushing most laps and try and gain on the field and make as many overtakes as possible so that's the explanation of the two boosts that we are using and this race has been a bit easier than i thought it would be and we're gonna carry on through to the end of these laps now so it gives me time as i mentioned earlier make sure you do watch all the races it gives you some very good tips as to what strategy you want to follow in these races also i have my discord in the description which you can follow you can join and we can chat i'm in there i'm active every evening some days i'm active as well obviously trying to do this around work and i do help out all the subscribers in there to try and get some big points for you i want you finishing up as high as possible and there's track guides in there there's boost guides in there it's a really good place to be but one thing make sure you let me know in the comments below where you're finishing in qualifying are you scoring your best points are you struggling what tracks are you struggling on let me know so i can help you because if i if i don't know i can't help you so last lap then and we've got max verstappen sitting in p1 if you've watched the formula one season of course you have it's where he is all the time we've got george russell in p2 starting his last lap and this is a very solid easy 47 point race after my famous words at the start saying it was going to be easy luckily it has been because that would have made a bloopers clip and you would all be laughing at me so max will cross the line p1 for a great first race and george russell not too far behind either nice gap back to p3 rival and p1 and p2 in the very first race of qualifying is absolutely in the bag race number two bahrain and if you don't know already this is a cornering track not a straight track not in terms of speed and power it's a cornering track and we get our first max account from what i can see so it looks like a very max account here so we've got to be on our best haven't we guys so let's go let's try and go the same strategy so i'm going to try and hold up the field I've got to try and bring the field back to Max Verstappen here. So, here we go. Bahrain, difficult position on the grid. Can we get a good start? And George Russell is off. And can he go straight up the middle? He can. And George Russell on fire. For Max Verstappen, not so much. Someone's put him out. He needs to reignite. And we go up the inside. It's Hamilton versus Verstappen all over again. And Max wins that battle as we start to get in a bit of a traffic jam. But can we get P7? We're going to leave it boosting, but we're blocked off, so we're going to cut down. Now we've got George Russell at the front of the field. We have a lot of soft tyres behind. We're not going to be able to keep that George Russell behind for very long. So we're going to start boosting. I have got the tyre management to do so, and I want to try and get back past the rival probably won't be able to unless we dive up the inside and yes we can we're back ahead and now we're back behind oh what a guy, what a rival so we're behind the rival at the moment but i'm not going to panic because they're on the soft tire they're going long and i am risking it with my strategy but i am going four laps on both drivers and i'm going to start to now boost max verstappen I want to get him to close the gap. We've got George Russell behind holding up the field. And we send Russell for absolutely sending for sausages down that inside. And now we're going to boost Matt George Rowe as well. So we want to get George ahead. We've got Max Verstappen now. P7, great move on Lando. And another good move hopefully on Hamilton coming up. And we're going to have definitely George Russell then going to try and hold back up the rest of the field. So can we get past the rival? That's key at the minute. And we're going to come back around with Russell. 
Can we get Max ahead of the rival? No, we can't. So we're going to keep him boosting. We have got past the other rival car. So we are in to P3. And we're going to try and get out ahead of George Russell. And then we can boost to the finish. Or boost a lot of the finish. But we need to get ahead of him because we don't want to get held up at all. And we're getting held up a little bit here. We've got George in the pits. If he can get ahead of the rival, which I don't think he will. No, he won't. But we're going to come out and I'm going to try and get George ahead of the rival. So we're going to boost for a couple of laps. We've got Max Verstappen coming out in P5. So we are going to close that gap. And I might have given away. I could have probably got P1 in this race quite easy. We might have given away P1. But we are going to keep boosting and try and close the gap. So can we get Max? We can't. So we're going to cut down a little bit. And we've got George absolutely flying out front. We want to try and get ahead of the rival and just hold him up for a split second. That's what's key. We've got Max Verstappen all over the back of Max Verstappen. Can we go up the inside? We can, but we're not going to keep... We are going to keep the position. So P4. And now we get ahead of the rival so we're going to try and hold him up a little bit big move from Max Verstappen up the inside of George and now it's crucial we are holding up the rival just that little bit and I tell you what it's going to be close at the end of this we've got Max Verstappen now coming round and we're going to just keep pushing because we've got nothing to lose here and the rival comes out P3 and if he boosts to the finish we're not going to keep hold of this but let's keep our fingers crossed. We're going to get him ahead of George Russell. And what we're going to do is try and use George Russell to hold him up. So I'm going to push Verstappen as far as I can push him with fuel. And then we're going to set George Russell off. So key, key moments of this race. We are P1 and P2. The rival is now going to boost over the line. There he is. And now we're going to boost George. So have we got enough gap? It's going to be tricky to hold back George on the soft tyres. But we're doing it so far. We've got back markers in the way. They could be an issue. But we are ahead at the moment and we don't want to get held up here. Because it's very, very close. Up the inside, please. Oh, that's a terrible line. Can we hold on? Up the inside, we are going to hold on. Just... Oh, P1 and P2. What a race. Absolutely wonderful way. Race? Race. Can't say my R's very good. But yeah, P1 and P2. God, I need a break after that one. Race number three, and it's Spain. And we've got an easier matchup this time. So we should hopefully start P2, P6, which we're about to find out. P2, P6. God, it's almost like I'm ready into the future. I wish I could. So, we're going to try and do the same again. I'm going to use Rooster. And I'm going to use Taurus. Because I want the tyres. And I'm going to use Softs on both. But I am just going to try and hold the field up with Russell. I'm fairly confident I'd get 47 points in Spain anyway. But, I'm just going to try and make sure... So Russell gets a good start into P1, away from the lights. Impressive reaction time. And Max Verstappen has made a blinder up the inside. And he's now P3. What a move by Max. And another great move by Max down the inside into turns four. And Max Verstappen is now into P1 from the first corner, having started P6. A world championship move through the first few corners. And hopefully that sets us up for a very solid race and there's no surprises in store. George in P2. He's got the blocking boost on. And he's got Charles Leclerc right up his rear wing. Charles will be hoping for DRS down the straight. But sadly F1 Clash hasn't put that in yet. And we won't be troubled by any one second gaps. So Max Verstappen coming around nice and easy. We're going to try and keep Charles Leclerc behind us. And we're going to hold him up a little bit. I might do five laps for Russell. I don't really know. But usually I would do a four and a four. We've got Charles on the soft tyre behind us. And we're just keeping him back nice and steady. 
We've got Max out front, and Max has got a two and a half second gap. And like before, Rooster is for the blocking and the tyre management. And you can see that in play at the moment. Don't let me down now. Russell takes a very good line there, and we hold up the rival. And we've got, or the AI, I should say. And then we've got Verstappen out front. He's got Taurus, so he's got the tyre management, which will enable me to come back and do a soft four laps at the end. And George is absolutely fine here. We've still got some decent tyres left, so I might just extend this to basically five laps, because Charles Leclerc will probably go and do a hard or a medium tyre, whereas George is going to come back out on the soft. So I'll probably go round again, because I haven't got a massive gap between... First, well, I have. I've got enough gap. So we're going to boost a little bit, and we'll bring him in next lap. There's absolutely no harm in sending him around. We've got Max Verstappen in P2, and we'll just conserve. We don't need to push. Usually, I would push for the, the second half of this race, but there is absolutely no need at the moment. So, George, P1, coming round to the last part of this track, and we have got a gap of 9.8 seconds to the nearest competition which is then Charles Leclerc on the hard tyres. And what did I tell you? Leclerc will come back for hard tyres or mediums, and that's what he's done. I know the AI strategy, that's what you've got to learn. As Russell comes out, and he is absolutely clear of the field. And we're going to boost both drivers now. We've got the rival pitting in position six, and we have got a nice, comfortable cushion over Charles Leclerc. So that is navigated absolutely perfect. P1, P2. And we haven't had to stress too much. There's only one race, which was Bahrain just gone. And that was an incredible race. I love that. Such a hard race to win as well. But we did it to perfection. And just one more lap. And I think we were, we were doomed. So we're coming into nearly a lap to go. Max Verstappen out in front. Yet again, a world championship drive. He's probably going to win the championship this weekend. But it depends who we against. Will we get Music Man? Will we get Ibon? Who will we get this weekend in our group? We've got Nicholas Latifi with a crash in Sector 1. That is something you don't see every day. Hint, hint. Sadly, we won't get many safety cars next year because he is out of here. But good luck to Latifi in any series that he does do on a serious note. As Max laps Max for P1, 24 points. And George not far behind in P2 to complete a 47-point run. Race number four, Singapore. The final race of qualifying. And we have a chance to go Max points in qualifying. The question is, can we stomach it or will we bottle it? But here we go, we're P2 and P6. And if you can work out what I'm about to do, you're as clever as I am, because we are holding up the rivals again. Oh, we love it. We love holding them up. So fun. And we are going to go for downforce on Verstappen, Rooster on George. And we are going to hold the field of Russell. Both cars are going to do four laps. And then come back in to a three lap stint. So here we go. And we are off at Singapore. And can we get a good start? We do get the lead. That's absolutely crucial. But Max Verstappen lost a place. But he's back into P6. So can we go around the outside of Lewis? Not quite. And Max Verstappen hasn't gained as many. But oh, what a move. Max Verstappen, P5. Oh, he sent Hamilton back to school. And Hamilton nearly takes us back to school. So, P5 now, then, for Max. And it's how we get Max up to P1 or 2. That's the big question. What do we have in front? We've got medium tyres in front of us. So we do want to get past their medium tyres and not hold ourselves up. We've got Russell in P1. Can we get Max into the first corner? Well, not with that move on the last, we will not. But can we get him up the inside? Nope. We don't want to push too hard because obviously we are going to come back for the, the four laps. And at the moment, we've got Max and Leclerc both doing the same strategy as us. So we're going to boost a little bit in patches here. 
We haven't got the best tyre management because we've only using downforce. We can't get one up the inside. So we carry on and we've got George Russell out front nice and easy. The question is I might go for medium tyres on max. I might try and pit early but we're going to get stuck behind so I'm not going to. I am going to stay and do three laps. I'm going to commit to my strategy and we've got George Russell out front. And we'll have George Russell holding up the field. But what we need to make sure is we get ahead of George Russell P2. And that's the key here. Because we don't want to get stuck behind him. Because he's going to come back and do medium or hard tyres. Most likely hard. So as we carry on, we're going to leave it as late as possible to start boosting. And we are in... A okay position at the moment. But we haven't got much chance to boost. We've not got amazing tyres. So we're going to come round again. I'm going to boost a little bit and see if we can get Max into the first corner. And we can. So we're up to P3. And now I'm going to really have to conserve because we are very much struggling on tyres. George Russell comes back for medium. So we're going to fall behind him. And our George Russell will be pitting this lap as well. And the question is, what gap have we got at the minute? We've got a 3.7. So I'm going to pit, I'm going to push Russell now. Get him away from the pack. And I've only got a two second gap for Max to George. So we're going to lose out to, to George. Never, we never got him in the first place. But we're in the pits. As the Ferrari comes out. And now I'm going to use... I'm not going to boost Russell. Can Verstappen get ahead of Leclerc? He can't. And now it's all about getting up the track. We've got P3 and P2 right in front of us. We've got Charles Leclerc on the soft tyre. Big strategy from Charles. But we need to get past him ASAP to give us every shot at max points in this round. Big pressure. And can we get Charles? We can't yet. Can we go up the inside? We can't, we, that, the door was open, but we couldn't take it. What about now? Can we take it now? We're right behind Charles. And sadly, Ferrari have done a decent strategy here. I bet you never thought you'd hear that. So, last corner. Can we get a good slingshot? We can't, we've gone wide. And we are running out of time. Up the inside. No, we can't get him. We can't get him at the minute. It is a crucial. We've got to get him this lap. Up the inside. No. What about now? We're not going to get Charles. We can't get past him. That can't... Oh, this is so close. And we're just following Charles' line. If, we, if we're not... Look, oh, we're going to lose. We've lost P4. How have we lost P4, guys? That's something that you just can't account for. We've lost P4... When we shouldn't have lost P4 ever. And now we're going to lose points on the last race. Because Max Verstappen on a downforce. Can't get past a Ferrari or Charles Leclerc. We're back into P4. We're not going to get P3 surely now. We are right behind him. But we've had the whole race to get past him. And we haven't got past him once. So down into the last section of the lap. We'll probably go wide again here. Oh, and we do. And um, it's a spitting image. We can't, Max can't do this track now. That is absolutely a spitting image. And it's sickening that we lose out because of that. Max gets a breakdown. We finally get back up to P4. But that is not what we deserved. We did not deserve 45 points in that last race. Such a shame. The Max score was never on. There was no reason why we couldn't get past Charles and then lose the position to Max twice on the same corner. Ah, gutting. Absolutely gutting. But never mind. It's 45 points in the end. Couldn't make it Max. We couldn't make it Max points or we couldn't handle Max. One of the two. But that does see us. We'll be through to the final round. We've, well, the opening round even. We scored 186. It should not have been 186. It should have been 188. 
47, 47, 45. And that is it for qualifying. Thank you for watching. Make sure you do leave a comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.